Hi everybody, it's Rose Rose Tree. Empath coach is my role here. Not athletic coach, no, no, but I do teach empath empowerment and I've already done an introductory video for you about what I'm doing with empath merges of these world-class athletes. And I have this heart here because I love doing skilled empath merges. Of course, I only do them when I choose to, and I'm choosing to do one now of Simone. I want you to read the contest winning entry because I've been having a contest at my blog, roserosetree.com, and then you go to the blog. From time to time, I have contests so that I can do free aura readings for those who win the contest. And this was a nomination that Kyler gave for doing skilled empath merges of athletes around the time of the Rio Olympics. She wrote, I'd like to nominate Simone Biles, U.S. gymnast. I'm curious about her because she's basically breaking the score scale in gymnastics, scoring two plus points above everyone else in an event normally decided in tenths and hundredths of one point. Every other gymnast is calling her the best ever. More on par with Michael Jordan or Serena Williams as a giant in her sport than any contemporary gymnast. And don't we know that's saying a lot if you watch gymnastics. Kyler concluded, she does skills in her floor routine nobody else in the world can, including men. So let's research chakra data banks that she's got. And for the first one, I'm going to be telling you about a gift of her soul. Whoa, that's about as athletic as Rose gets. <laughs> a gift of Simone's soul for physical self-awareness, root chakra data bank. You'll see me from time to time doing or refreshing my preparation process. That's just part of the energetic literacy skills in preparing to do a skilled empath merge and directly experiencing in my consciousness what it's like to be that person. She is so physical in her way of being in a body and in what she notices in life, in her sense of identity. She's a human embodied woman. And for her, it's a fresh process of discovery to be able to have a body that lives and moves and can do things in space. It's a very exciting thing to have the body of Simone in terms of what it's like for her. That's the gift. Now let's find out how she's doing with that gift. Reading this chakra data bank now about her presence in the room. She has the ability to just notice bodies whenever she wants. Not notice anything else. Just notice bodies. And so she can be present in a room of athletes and just be noticing their bodies. Nothing else. She can be present in a room where she is the athlete and just notice her body and nothing Else. It's as though the sun goes away, the moon goes away. You know how you can hold up your, your thumb and kind of block the moon if you get it from the right angle? You know you're not really erasing the moon, but for practical purposes for you, you can make it go away. That's what happens with her when she just becomes interested in being in a room. Her presence is, I am this body. Make it glorious. Whoa! 
It's so much fun how skilled empath merge can show you ways to be that are not what you do. <laughs> now on to the belly chakra data bank for flow of energy while competing. What a fascinating way she has of doing that at this time of her gold medal winning performance, which is from where this photo still was taken. She gets a huge divine download through her crown chakra, concentrated presence of God to support her with endless joy and physical energy when she is in competition like this. So it's not her energy only. It's a co-creation. That's very meaningful to me because all the skill sets in my field of rose tree energy, spirituality for long, and RES for short, they're all co-created with the divine on purpose. And people can learn to co-create. But the way that she is co-creating for this flow of energy is not something that anybody had to teach her. It's just something she was born knowing how to do, like smile. Let's read more. Let's go on to the solar plexus chakra data bank for using power while competing. Mm, she's in a sacred now. Almost, you could say, a mystical state, but very embodied. And so, using power while competing for her isn't about competing. It's about being in a flow of the sacred that is given to her when she competes. So she works and she prepares, I suspect, so that she's as ready as she can be. But then when she's doing the competing, it's an allowing, really. And the power is divine power that she knows how to co-create with. And that means you don't force. You don't force in your consciousness. No doubt her muscles hurt, her body hurts, and she's having to pay a lot of attention. Yet that process of using power is that it's her and the divine moving in the way she's learned how to use, and allowing, and feeling the bliss. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Heart Chakra Data Bank for Emotional Stability. There's so much joy. It's really a mystical quality of joy. And there's no room in there for emotions. You know, there's a word about connecting to the divine that's appropriate sometimes called bliss. And bliss is not the same thing as happiness. Bliss is of a different order because a person is participating in divine vibrational frequencies, which could be called perfection everywhere now. So she is experiencing perfection everywhere now, and it suffuses her emotional functioning. But it's not a human-type feeling. It's a transcendent joy. Mm. And she gets to win a gold medal. <laughs> not too bad, but she deserves it. This is me fanning myself. <laughs> I'm fanning myself to take a little break before I continue to do more aura reading of Simone. I'm fanning myself because I thought I was already the huge, huge fan having watched all her events in the Olympics, but now <laughs> I'm even more of a fan because of doing Skilled Empath Merge. And I hope if you are any kind of athlete or student of what human potential can be, that you're finding this interesting too. So I have some more chopper data bags to go, three of them from the collection of seven. I'm going to research now doing Sealed Empath Merge about the Third Eye Chakra Data Bank that Simone has 
at this time for reading energies while competing. Ooh. It's really not important to her. Now, I've read auras and done skilled empath merges with quite a few athletes. And when they're playing team sports, very often there are amazing abilities to follow energetically what's going on with other players. But that's not needed in gymnastics, really, is it? And she doesn't have it going on. It's as though she is in the presence of the divine. And what else could there be but that? Next, third eye chakra data bank for connection to spiritual source. Her way. Everybody has their own ways, huh? fun because Simone is the twinkling, shining, pulsating presence of the divine. She's connecting to that and you know how when we breathe, we breathe in and then we breathe out, little pauses on either end and that's just something we instinctively do. She has had many, many years to get used to the mystical experience of doing gymnastics where she, over time, has developed the consciousness to really experience being one with God while she does her routines. And so she's learned to go from that vast, twinkling, joyful presence back into her body. And she does that the way you and I breathe. That's quite some lived connection, huh? And the last one, her high heart chakra data bank for soul thrill. Expressing her own human soul. Mm. She's so grateful to be herself in this moment, in this body, especially in this body. To her, that body is sacred. You know how people will say, your body is God's temple, and then tell you what to do. <laughs> it's not always a blissful way of conceptualizing the body as God's temple, but she's experiencing that. And her soul, it's just, she was made for this. So that's the aura reading of Simone. And you're welcome to learn more about empath empowerment, training, books, etc. from my website, which is roserosetree.com. If you were born an athlete, I'd love to help you understand yourself better. And if you were born an empath, I'd love to help you use your gifts so that they're a source of delight as it's been for me to read this for you. Bye for now.